Hunter Fish coming at you from Brainwood Lake, Illinois. It is March 1st, 2020. This is a nuclear power plant, uh, warm water discharge lake, and this is opening day. They close it off all winter to fishermen. Today's the day they open up, and this place is crazy busy, kind of like I expected. Coming here with my main man, Jim Wheeler, on a pre-spawn bite. Hey, most of my lakes in Indiana right now are still froze. I say most, like 99% of them. But this place promises to have a great pre-spawn bite. And that's what Jim and I are about to go after. I think in a monkey punch and a chatterbug gonna catch a bunch. Tune in, cause here comes some awesome 2020 fish. Tell you what, if you don't, if you live in the area, it is definitely worth doing. It is opening day, so what that meant is that holy cow, is it busy! It was kind of a, a nut house launching a boat this morning. We waited what half hour, 45 half hour, 40 minutes. Yeah, but it's a one day weekend, you may as well say, because usually they open on Saturday, but March 1st is yeah. today. March so. 1st is the day they open, and it's Sunday. And I uh, take the weather lined up perfectly for us. Perfectly. I mean, it's 53 degrees, something like that, oh, on yeah. March 1st in uh, Illinois, uh, northern Illinois, just south of Chicago is where we are. And yesterday was a high of 30 degrees. So what a fluctuation. We hit that perfect. We were here last year for the first time. I think we're making this kind of an annual deal. I'm good. And now last year was March 2nd, and boy, the fishing was different, Jim. Uh-oh, Jimmy. Yeah, and we thought we were going to be able to come do the same thing, and it didn't pan out. Yeah, we had a much better time last year, and what we, oh, I mean, the weather was different. I mean, it barely got above freezing last year. Overcast. Yeah. Yeah, and it was overcast and breezy. Today was breezy. I mean, it was really windy today. Again, that uh, another uh, obvious major difference was the temperature. Um, so I shoot, I don't really know. The, the one thing that surprises both is that the spots that worked for us last year, which you can check on last year's video, there there'll be a link to it in the description of last year's video, as well as prop it up on the screen. But about right now, all the spots that worked last year did not work this year. No. Nope. Really weird. Yeah. I just I figured that's 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 the gym factor there. Well, I mean, it's a big lake. Yeah, and this place is pretty big, and it it's good to to learn new spots, anyways. But we basically had to today. Yeah, we did. And you know, the best stuff that we found uh, was warm water. I mean, one area produced our best quality fish. Yeah. The world's watching. Oh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> you got him on a chatterbug. How'd you get that sucker, man? Been struggling a little bit today. <laughs> I just switched to a white one. Made two casts for the chatterbug. Like I said, changed the white. Been throwing green pumpkin all morning. Boom. See what happens. Sticking a good one, Jim. Jim. Carry fried that sucker. Jim, the one thing I'll say, we found these fish. This is the warmest water we found all day. It's 67 and a half, 67.8 degrees. And you got that one back on the white chair bug. And then we came across what I believe is a gravel spot out here in some shallow water. We really caught uh, seven or eight here in the last hour, hour and 10 minutes. Now, the best fish of the day came off uh, that chatterbug by 9K Elite Lures. 
and, and I want to tell you that I caught him, but it really wasn't me. It was Jimmy. But um, that was a white one here. And we've got a Yamamoto Zayco trailer on there, but um, three quarter ounce is what you were using? Yep. I was using a half, and uh, he uh, caught more than I did. <laughs> yeah, but it took me switching to the white because I was throwing green pumpkin all day. Yeah. I will say colors made a difference. We started throwing whites and chartreuse. We got a bit more. We struggled mightily early in the morning. We caught a handful of small ones, and I do mean small, on, on some finesse baits, some plastic baits, and we didn't show you any of that stuff. But So after a couple fish on Chatterbug, then we got kind of lucky and got a lipless crankbait going here. Well, that came off of a, been obviously slow as Jim has said, and uh, that came on a round trap, believe it or not. And it's it's like right over to the right, it's about a foot and a half, and I cast out, it's kind of a flat, or some sporadic, uh, I don't know if any weeds on there, actually I don't, maybe some, a few, but some wood and rock. And Jimmy, we're starting to catch a couple fish. Hey, I got a fish on Jimmy. Hey, here we go. Back to the round trap. There you are. Another one. Another one. Yes, sir. He doesn't want to be caught, James. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ooh, look how he ate that sucker. Look how he ate that. That tells you we're doing the right thing. We're at the very end of our day. And it's been an awfully slow day. It's water temp. Oh, let me check. 62 and a half degrees. We're in two and a half, three foot of water. There is some very limited uh, scattered weeds out there. That's, Square built? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm throwing a Bill Lewis rattle trap. I think it's an older one, actually. I don't know what you got there, which was that square bill. Looks like. I'm not a, sure what it is, actually. At this first time, I think Jim's actually throwing crank baits. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me, James. Got a big one? I don't know. Beat you up. I haven't seen it. Nope. No, you're not. <laughs> not big, but first cast, I think. It's a fish. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, oh headbutt. That's how you have a quick release. Quick release. There we go. Oh, what are we still on? <laughs> oh, it's just nice to catch fish, Jim. Yep. Ah, well, come here. Truthfully, we struggled. We did not have a good day of fishing today. We were fortunate to catch some fish. But talk to a few people. Some guys are doing great. Some guys are doing well at all sure did you know last year all of our fish were really uh, really close to the bank not for us this year and i did hear reports of guys catching yeah. them up against the bank and even um th throwing some jigs and such up against those reeds and such but uh, cattails but man was well, not happening for us today it's really a neat lake i know a lot of people crop fish out here when with the live scope was able to see some of that where those crappie were out there we didn't take any time to catch them but definitely saw that thank you for tuning in on behalf of the, the Hunters of Fish, Hunter Fish, <laughs> and the other wheeler, J a.k.a. Jim Wheeler, the other wheeler. Hey, appreciate it. Now, Jim, if I'm not mistaken, you're going to get your own YouTube channel? I'm working on it. Working on it. So pay attention. Yep. When that's out there, I'll make sure to share that on my social media. If you, you can find links to our social media in the description as well. Give us a follow. I don't think you'll be disappointed. We like to entertain and share the information we come across. Still working on my first guest. I'm not sure yet. I'm just saying. He's rude, disrespectful. Rude and disrespectful. I'm older, I can do this. Who can come up with the best bad name for him? Put it in the, <laughs> in the comments once you come. Be very creative. I don't care if it's vulgar or not. You say exactly what he is. The other Wheeler, Jim Wheeler, Andy Buss. Looking forward to a great 2020 season. See ya. See you. We'll see you on the water. <laughs> I just want another three. I just want a three pounder in here. Another one. Yours got to be at least three and a half. Yeah, or something.
reactor. Calm down. Calm down, Sonny. We definitely found some, I don't know, rock or gravel or something. We're going to take a look at outside imaging, see if we can figure out what is, what's there holding these fish. But then again, you know, who cares? As long as you found it, you're catching fish, right? Who the heck cares what it is? Who cares, Jimmy? <laughs>